<laughs> Good morning, Giants fans. How'd you sleep last night? I I'm just curious. Because 40 to 0? Really? Is the Giants that bad? Or is the Cowboys defense just really that good? That's what I want to talk about. You know what? Because I said this, right? I said this. I said, I never really used to have smoke with the Giants, bro. Like, I never used to have smoke with them. Like, it was always Dallas and Philly. But lately, it's been the Giants as, like, the most nuisance. Like, they've just been so annoying their fans, stuff like that. And just Daniel Jones and Dwayne Haskins, that whole thing. They smoke had recently went up, and we just couldn't, we just can't beat them for whatever reason. Then earlier yesterday while we were playing, Giants fans was trolling us on Twitter. It was so many Giants fans. I, haven't, I didn't even see no Cowboys. Uh, it was one Eagles fan that was in my chat trolling me specifically. But as far as the whole fan base Twitter, no other team but the Giants fans was trolling us. Oh, Sam Howe, trash. If he if he lose to an Arizona Cardinals team, this is crazy. Blah, blah, blah. Trolling us, trolling us, trolling us. Then you get the Sunday night. And you can't even master a field goal. You can't talk about nobody, bro. I mean, like, Giants, bro, you can't even talk for the rest of the month of September. I'm not even going to say, I'm not even going to give you to next week because you play next week versus Arizona. Matter of fact, Arizona might beat y'all. I'm not going to hold you. If y'all play like y'all did yesterday, AZ might beat y'all. And I know AZ licking they chops right now. Because they 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 lost to us by four points, right? So if I'm a Cardinals fan, I'm looking at it like, bro, we we could be two, we could be on the verge of two and zero right now if we just clean up some mistakes. But anyways, Giants fans, how y'all feeling, baby? <laughs> Couldn't be me. I'm not gonna lie to you. Couldn't be me. We can never go out sad like that. Like, yeah, the Cowboys have dogged us before on national television. Before we've dogged them on national television before, but a shutout, a goose egg, you can't even score nothing, and at home, oh man, oh, okay, hey Cowboys, man, y'all really gonna see me do this, but because man, what who expected that? I knew y'all was gonna win, I picked y'all to win. But who expected a 40 to 0, zilch, nil, whatever you want to call it, represents zero? Who, who saw that? I mean, f for the Giants, everything that could go wrong went wrong. Daniel Jones played like trash. The offensive line played like trash. You know it's bad when Graham Gano missing field goals. Graham Gano, one of the best kickers in football. You know it's bad when he missing field goals, wide left, wide right, whatever. You know, blocked kick, fumbling, drop passes. Nobody showed up to play today for the Giants. Last night for the Giants, man. And um, as a fan of the Commanders, I can't do nothing but, but, but smile, right? But then at the same time, I can't smile. Cause I'm like, dang, the Cowboys 40 are now. Now Cowboys fans, oh, we going to the Super Bowl. Oh, my God. Here we go again. Cowboys fans, we going to the Super Bowl. I've seen enough. I saw a million of those comments already. This is our year. Uh, so, on one hand, I'm happy because the Giants got doors. But at, on the other hand, I'm mad because the Cowboys fans going to be, you know, they going to be geeking. But, hey, look. Look. Is the Cowboys defense really that good or is the Giants offense really that bad? I think, I think it's really both. I think it's both. Because the Cowboys, man, how good is that defense, bro? I'm not going to lie to you. I know y'all see my background. Commanders fan, realistic fan, though. That's what I am. I'm a realist. I'm an NFL fan, too. You know what I'm saying? So I call it how it is, no matter what's behind me. That defense is amazing, bro. I mean, Micah Parsons, how good is he? How good is he, man? And um, number 14, I forgot his name. He had Jabril, he has Jabril Cox holding up, I think, with a cow. I forgot his name. But he was flying around, too, making plays. Um, can't remember his name though. 
uh, obviously the two cornerbacks. How about Trayvon Diggs? You know, you you know, you know, me and Trayvon, but we don't really get along because he he swear he just like that and just Terry Terry. He just own Terry. You know what I'm saying? But truth be told, if Trayvon Diggs did not play for the Cowboys, I wouldn't really care for him. But it's just because he played for the Cowboys. Similar to Jalen Hurts. If, if, if Jalen Hurts did not play in the NFC East, I would be a fan of Jalen Hurts. But I can't be a fan of him because their fans are, like, their fans are just, like, just, just insane. Similar to Cowboys fans. The Cowboys fans are insane. If Trayvon Diggs didn't play in the NFC East, I would not mind rule for him. But since he plays in the NFC East, you know what I'm saying? I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because SD is my his brother. SD, Stephon Diggs is my favorite, you know, non-Washington player. Him and Josh Allen. So it, it wouldn't matter. But... How good was that hit, man? That hit that he put on the on the, on the, on the receiver popped up in the air pit. Come on, man! That defense was flying around, and they so fast. You know that they're, they're so fast and athletic. That's just like man, you know. And it just makes me think like I'm scared. I'm scared to play that like But our offensive line, you know, our offensive line was not that bad. I'm not gonna say I like it was terrible, but you know what I'm saying. Andrew Wiley, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared for Andrew, you know. But now, nah, in all seriousness, uh, they they the defense looked good. You know, Miles Smith had some good good plays too. But the y'all still seem a little light in the middle. Like you can get the ball ran on you. But as far as like pass defense, pass rush, man, y'all Daniel Jones didn't have no time. His offensive line didn't help him either. His offensive line was atrocious. I mean, Evan Neal was. I don't Y'all, y'all regretting that pick, Giants fans? Evan Neal was he's looking a little bit like a uh, Eric Flowers 2.0. He's not looking good at all. But like I said, it was just a total disaster from weather, rain, you know, to to the play on the field. Like it was just crazy. But like, come on, hey, Giant, like Giants fans, y'all couldn't master three points, bro. Like three. But then again, y'all tried and y'all just couldn't get it done. Like it's a difference between losing and just getting straight up whipped on national TV. How do you bounce back from that? I don't even know if a win over AZ next week just, just, I don't know if a win over AZ, you know, fixes this. I think we're going to be talking about this probably for the rest of the year. Now, unless, unless y'all just somehow win the Super Bowl, who, everybody going to be thinking about this. I ain't going to lie. Everybody going to be thinking about this because 40 to 0? Come on, bro. You know, and then uh, the offensive side of the ball for, for, for Dallas, it, it wasn't that bad. But you want to know what? I said that. I said Doc Prescott is uh, regressing, but he, he he's to the point where I think we realize, like, Doc Prescott does not have to be old Dak. You know, like, old Dak was, was, had, to, had to put up three touchdowns for 300-plus passing yards. You know what I'm saying? He don't got to do that no more because his defense can carry him. Now, it may, it may hurt him once they get to the playoffs, you know, and – come up short again like they always do that that's when that's when it's gonna hurt them and they probably gonna be like hey man we tired of that but as far as regular season go that's why i said like i i predicted them you know to, to finish last in the division because that was my hot take realistically i know dallas is gonna probably finish with 10 11 wins but that's that was just my hot take gotta have a hot take can't be mad if you have a hot take you know but that was my hot take and um if they do end up not making a playoffs or just being bad it's gonna be because of Dak prescott it's not gonna be because of your defense your defense is amazing you know what I'm saying? Like, it is really good. Dan Quinn has turned. I wish Mike Nolan was still around, man. Can y'all rehire Mike Nolan, bro? Like, Dan Quinn saved them. You know, like, yeah, they got Michael Parsons. They got, you know, Trayvon Diggs. They already, they already had pieces on that defense. Uh, you know, and then Dan Quinn just totally made a difference, man. And um, I just want to. I, I wish we had Dan Quinn. You know? People like Michael Parsons is everything we, we thought Chase Young would be. True. You know, I can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. You know what I'm saying? But, man, Dallas, uh, hey, y'all y'all know, y'all know I be trolling. Like how y'all be trolling me, right? Y'all be trolling me too because I'm a Commanders fan. Y'all know I be playing around a lot, but nah, all seriousness aside, man. Hell of a game, bro. And this, this, take this background away, just NFL fan for, for a second. Hell of a game. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going to lie to you. The defense, fast, like, it's just so fast. Like, they didn't even have time. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have time to think. Offense and I couldn't react. You know? Again, like I said, your offense wasn't, I wasn't blown away by your offense. You know, your offense was, was it was mid for real. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's what I said to the guy that I was arguing with on the I should have dropped that video. I might still drop the video where I was arguing with the Cowboys, man. On Protect Channel. But I was like, that's what's my concern with y'all is y'all office, new office coordinator. You know, y'all got weapons now, but new office coordinator or, you know, now I believe Mike McCarthy may be calling the plays. That could be y'all hill because I wasn't impressed by nothing he had He had called. Your defense is going to be the, the counterpart and the reason why y'all make it to where y'all make it this year. Whether that, whether that may be. But Giants fans, man, this is really what's about the Giants. It's a mixture of both, bro. Giants team just probably not as good. Like I feel like they were overhyped last year. You know, how do you get worse when you get better? You know what I'm saying? And again, it's only week one. We can come back to this 12 weeks from now and the Giants at the top of the NFC East. Probably not likely, but you know, never know. How do you get worse when you get better? And I mean that in the sense of like, you got talent now. Darren Waller, Jalen Hyde, uh, Breeshawn Saquon Barkley, you got Purse Campbell. You know what I'm saying? You got weapons now, quote unquote, at least you're supposed to. And you're looking worse than what you did last year with Richie James and, and Isaiah Hodges. And when you didn't have nothing. You know, when you didn't have nothing last year, uh, the tight end from last year, I think his name was Bellinger, and y'all looked way better than that than that last year than, than you do now with talent. So, maybe last year was a fluke. Maybe last year was a fluke for the Giants, okay? And again, time will tell. If they go out to AZ and they lose 0-2, oh, yeah, we knew last year was a fluke. But if they go out there, AZ, and, uh, you know, dominate and win, nobody's going to be really be talking about this. I mean, I am because it's like <sighs> you can't get shot out at home on national tele. But for everybody else, it's going to be like, all right, Giants just had that one of them weeks. Week one, brush it off. But, again, man, uh, I think it's a mixture of both. I think the, the, the Cowboys defense is really that good, and I do think the Giants are just that bad on the offensive side of the ball. Um, you know, well, really whole team, like, because Leonard Wood, I ain't hear nothing from Leonard Williams. I ain't hear nothing from Dexter Lawrence. I ain't hear nothing from nobody. Nobody showed up. Nobody. So maybe the Giants just suck. <laughs> and it would not be a surprise. And yes, I'm saying that because Giants fans trolling me all yesterday. Trolling us all yesterday. So y'all getting it right back. Y'all getting it right back in the worst way. 40 to zilch. How that feel? Let it soak in. And watch. Y'all gonna have to watch the Jets win a night, and that's gonna hurt even more. Because they gonna, you know, do, uh, they're gonna be the New York team that win. Now, I got the Bills winning that night, but watch. Just watch the Jets gonna win. Right in the same stadium that you just left, not, not less than 24 hours ago, took an L in. Watch. <laughs> but, hey, Giants fans, it's all good, bro. You still got seven, You still got 17 more weeks left of the season. You can shake back. <laughs> or can you? Time but with that being said, it's me and boy Juan Gotti, man. Cowboys fans, how y'all feeling?